All right, what's happening, crew? Uh, we're in a pretty cool spot. It is called the Castle. You may have heard of it. Um, and today, I'm a little fired up about this video for a couple different reasons. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take you as either a, a newer rider or somebody who really needs some confidence with turns and jumps, and we're gonna walk you through how best to use this spot to your advantage. So, are you ready? I am. Okay, so here's the setup here, the castle. Uh, you may be familiar with it. If you're not, it's probably, arguably, the most popular place in the mountain bike capital of the world right now. So it sees a lot of traffic. So first thing is, be prepared for that. Depending on when you come, you might see a lot of people. So understand, people are fired up um, and they get caught up in the moment. So stick to the trails as best you can and always have your eyes up to see who's coming at you. Next thing is be prepared, meaning have a proper helmet. Uh, I'd really suggest knee pads and maybe even elbow pads. Really good choice here because some of these spots, the surface can get a little rough. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna stick to two trails. You're gonna stick to Uwabami, which is a great green trail, and then you're gonna progress after that to wildfire. All that stuff at the top of the castle, I want you to leave it be right now. We're gonna wait till the next video. When you have more confidence, we're gonna tackle those. Uwabami can be your best friend if you're looking to gain confidence. And the reason is, allows you an opportunity to roll in and get more comfortable standing up, because that is a very important thing when you're riding a mountain bike. Heavy feet, light hands. So that's the first thing you're gonna work on is get comfortable standing up. Then you're gonna have the opportunity to work through some fun berms, also some flat turns as you get a little bit lower. So a great opportunity to work on turning technique. But then we are trailblazers has just added three super cool tabletops right in the middle of Uwabami. And what I love about that is it's a great way to start to get comfortable with the dynamics behind jumping a bike. So use Uwabami, get some solid runs. When you get to the bottom, the turns flatten out, they get a little bit looser. It's a great spot to get that experience to help grow that confidence. After that, you pedal your way right back up. It's not bad, it allows you time to to think through, to process everything that just happened, and you can run that a few more times. Once you get pretty good there, confidence is building, confidence is high. I repeat, confidence is high. You're gonna roll into the latest We Are Trailblazers edition here, and that is Wildfire. I love this line for a lot of different reasons. The roll-in is pretty straightforward. It's a really cool wooden roll-in. Keeps your speed in check because you got a couple of tight berms to start. Now. One thing that I've noticed is people have a tendency to roll in up from the flag and down into this one. Be careful. I'd suggest not doing that because people are coming up to get to the top to hit the other runs and there's a chance for a collision. We want to try to avoid that because everybody's here to have fun. Once you roll in and hit those first two turns, there's a really sweet bridge over Uwabami with a jump in the middle of it. Now, you're going to start slow and, and build up a little bit. Don't forget the pre-ride, re-ride, free-ride mantra here. It's very important. After that, speed picks up quickly, and you have, I would say, two of the best path to progression jumps in all of Northwest Arkansas. And what's great about these is, there's no downside to landing anywhere on top of them. They're not gaps, they're more like tabletops. And the beauty here is you can come in slow, hardly get any air, just land in the middle, and once you get a little bit more comfortable, it's easy to just dial in a little bit more speed. So three jumps into a really sweet left-hand turn, and guess what? That's it. It's a short metal back up to the top, and you get to hit it again. Hopefully that provides you some good insight, gets you motivated, but also in the know on what to do when you come here to enjoy the castle. If you have any questions, drop them below in the comments. If you want to do some private coaching here, let me know www.theRideseriesMTB.com. We have a really cool scheduling tool where you can click it and book it. We also have more clinics coming up. And last but certainly not least, plan your trip to the mountain bike capital of the world so you can come enjoy the castle and all of the other amazing spots around here. All right, that's all I got for you today. Peace out, dumpers.